Hey everybody, welcome back to Death's Door. Having a super time in here. Just met our new best friend, Pothead. And uh, he's looking for some help. There's a couple of gates he's struggling with. We're going to try and help him. Uh, and then go from there. See if he helps us. It's the only thing we can try. Uh, we've learned that these uh, purple pots will break these things. Now, I don't know if we can move these purple pots. We're going to experiment with that here today and uh, see where it leads. Just follow our uh, death trail here. Okay, so we could plant there if we needed. Look at that. They do not get interrupted. The slow draw of the arrow. Okay, now how does this work? The Garden of Peace. Okay, so... Like, presumably... I could blow these up. But why? But why? That's the question. Whoa. We have some wizards. Take aim. Elusive. Not so elusive. Okay, now can I also shoot these? Yes, I can. That's a little bit safer, obviously. I'm trying to see if there's a way to move them. This gets us back to here. So we have that full circle open now. Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, I knew I was going to take a whack there. So they might just be uh, environmental to hurt enemies that are near them. Possible, I guess. Yeah. But I'm constantly thinking about the one at the office that we don't have a purple pot next to, right? So, how does that come into play? Pothead, my good man. Most impressive. Now make haste and ignite the second lantern. Okay. A little bossy, but whatever. Okay, so we went down. Let's find one on this side. We're gonna need to light these bad boys. Now can I, I see one across there. No, it's blocked. But can this go through? No, it cannot. Be cool if you can interrupt their shots. She's lit. Just like Pothead. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. We're gonna have to drop a little healy poo here. Now, I should also try hitting these guys with a lit arrow. He does catch fire. So they are taking damage over time, too. That's super cool. Now, what would happen if I didn't have ammo in the reserve there? 
Oh, it looks to be just giving it to us once in a while, too. Maybe there's a timed function where you get a, kind of like a base amount. The Garden of Joy. Uh... Yeah, let's heal, I guess. Now, presumably, these will light that fire? No, but it just makes us able to shoot through it. I love that little damage over time from the from the flame. That's beautiful. See ya. Ah, two whiffs. I think my next upgrade is going to be into the um, dexterity for faster attacks. Okay, this is all good. This is another one of those little, what I presume to be teleports there. Another one on the right, too. Might be a bit presumptuous, but we'll see. Now, okay. When we saw that dock earlier, it had two of these crosses with the red, um, like, threading on it. I don't know if those are things we're going to be able to activate or what, but, yeah, something's weird for sure. Because we couldn't cross the dock. Brazers are lit. I'll take it. Hmm. I have no access to there. Oh, look, there's another one here, too. How the heck did somebody get in there? Maybe there's a way to like, get through the bushes at some point. But this is totally encased now. Okay. I like it. It gets me thinking a lot. I have to keep track of a lot of different things that we've run into. Hurrah, we can now venture onward, my steadfast companion. But first, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me a while. Wonder what Pothead wants to do. As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. This strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you're here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended years. I desire not but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my former handsome self. I was quite the looker, you know. <laughs> really building himself up. Soup? No? So be it. Let us push on once more. Yeah, uh, probably doesn't taste awesome. You seem quite adept at cutting down our foes, so I shall let you bear the brunt of it. I shall bring up the rear and meet you at the mansion gates. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Pro tip. Some projectiles can be deflected with the swing of your sword. What the? Oh, sick! That's cool. There's just going to be stuff flying all over the screen in short order here. We'll explore the right side first, if we can. Uh-oh. What the? <laughs> 
So he does like a three hit attack here. That was a two. Ooh, that was close. He's honestly kind of hard to read. I'm not sure what he's doing. Just smashing when I'm in the vicinity. Couple of cheek slaps there. Starting to glow. It's a good sign. Or it could be bad. No, it's good. All right, we're up over 425. Almost an exact 420, which would have made Pothead extremely happy, I think. This Garden of Life. Okay, wait, so... Where are we? Ah, nice, yes. I'll blow that up if I can gain something back here. So... Notice, uh, it is not a time thing. I'm not getting any shots back. Mm, I guess. I'll heal here. Might have ventured off the path a little bit here, but that's okay. See, there's got to be something that we can use on the water at some point. Oh, jeez. Oh! This is gonna hurt. I'm overestimating my reach a little bit here. It would be nice if it just tossed us a little heal once in a while. Like, just, the, just the, like one I didn't have to pay for. See here again. Maybe it's similar to our umbrella where it's an item that helps with water somehow. Looks like these could all be lit too, but I don't have... I don't have a starting point. I don't even know if they'd be able to connect. I'm intrigued, nonetheless. Okay, so that's where we drop down. Just below us. Okay. Okay. That was beautiful. Getting real dicey. Gotta make sure we don't fall here. Oh, hello. Found some rogue daggers. I was gonna say it looked like a boomerang. These blades can speedily inflict damage to an opponent, death by a thousand cuts. You can equip them in the weapons menu. 
Gotta try it. Pair of keen blades that can inflict rapid strikes. These blades are often favored by Reapers that have defected from the commission or been fired. So, slightly less damage, less range. Swing time is lower and get more swings. Oh yeah, that's cool. Sounds nice too. Very ninja-like. Hey, Pothead. I would make a good statue, would I not? <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. So, here we are. This edifice may look unassuming, even be calming. However, keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Now, let us dive from the precipice of adventure and enter the belly of the beast together. Yeah, uh, uno momento, Pothead. I gotta make sure I've done my due diligence around here. Whoa! Ooh, Ooh boy. This is trouble. This is trouble. No! I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I got stuck in that corner. I was just waiting for it. So what happens now? Did it take some of our souls? It just puts us at the at the back at the beginning of the witcher's at the witch's uh, place here, but We still have a bunch of our souls. I don't know if it took some. I think it probably took a few. That is a little bit of a setback. Notice how in those witches section, we didn't encounter any new doors or anything. Let's see. These are all still lit. Burn your weapons and spread joy. That was a nice little tip. Thank you, statue. Now, will all the challenges respawn? Or do only kind of like the basic enemies do that? Oh, hi. Did I plant that? Okay, we finished both sides. Super weird. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna have to wait until we can unlock some type of way of accessing those deals. But we're basically back where we came from anyway. Oh, whoa! Oh, jeez, that is super cool. Totally meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. I don't think I would have saw that, actually, so... Chalk that one up to luck. Yeah, see now... This is that group that killed us. I will have my revenge.
Oopsie daisy. That's where you get into trouble with games like this. You take those easy ones. Oh, that's different. You go way forward. Okay, I wanted to check out this side anyway before we went into the actual witch's place, so this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super happy I died. Yeah, totally. I meant to do that. What is happening here? The family tomb. Uh, okay. Should I be breaking all of these? A what? Okay, what exactly is happening here? So they're all back for some reason. Is there like a, a, a hint or something here? We got like a 5x5 five five square. Let me just check the rest of the area to see if there's anything else happening. See, like, there's these barricades that we can't seem to blow up yet. Maybe there's a way to, like, infuse our weapon with that stuff from the pots. Yeah, see, now we're back at the entrance. Okay, let's see if we can figure out this puzzle. So both gates are open. Both sides of that are protected. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. I'm going to break one right in the middle. They all come back. Now, in previously when we were smashing stuff, they didn't all come back. The family tomb. They're dancing. See, now these two are broken. Middle and here. Something like this? No. But if I break these... Maybe I have to break them in, like, a certain order? See how this one stays? That's so weird. Those two stayed broken. This stayed broken. Maybe we have to just figure out which ones stay down. See how they stay broken uh, if you're hitting them in the time that they're kind of respawning? See those three now stay broken? But these are going to all come back. So unless there's a way for me to, like, take these all down quickly, I don't see a way this is going to go down. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back to it. Maybe there'll be something else that we see that gives us a little hint as to what to work on there. Or we use these. Right? But I can't move these yet. So, if we can ever get the ability to pick those up, that's a game changer. All right. You go on ahead, I'll guard the door. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pothead. You're super, super good, buddy, there. Appreciate that. Thanks for looking.